The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Squatty German. <laughs> yeah, the little bastard. <laughs> you little bastard, you. Yeah. Great song by the ass ponies. Little yeah, bastard. the little bastard, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a band of Jamie Manages, isn't it? No, there's a real band called the ass ponies, oh. and they have a song called Little Bastard. Oh, okay. That's ass fair. pony used to be my oh. nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and college. <laughs> and after. And when you worked at Quick Trips. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and. <laughs> it's, a, it's a name that sticks with you. Yeah, yeah. very good. Uh, but anyways, uh, we have an excellent episode for everybody. Uh, I also have beside me the funniest homosexual that we all know and love, Mr. JP. Yes, sir. And Derek the Rec Alders. <laughs> hey, I just got an important email about a survey I got to take. I'm, I got to get out of here. Okay. All right, man. I'll see you. Bye. See you. Have a yep. great night. All right. Thanks uh, for coming. Yep. Sure. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, he decided uh, he not to. Down. Well, uh, it's not that he wanted to sit back down. It's just that he's too fat and he's going to get his momentum. <laughs> yeah, I was in his way and he just what? fell back what? down in his chair. Why don't you just shut the fuck up and call a doctor? All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm sorry. Anyways, we've got an excellent show for you guys today. We had a lot of stuff over the week that has happened, current events that are going on. Uh, we've got overrated or underrated. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas is always a good draft and a shitty situation to wrap everything up. What about a shitty draft and a good situation? Yeah, Let's that do sounds that. better. Let's change it up. We could change it. Uh, I mean, sure. Like, what would you rather do? Win $10 <laughs> million. <dollars. laughs> Or, or they stop making Fast and the Furious movies. Oh, yeah. like, oh those are both that's good a ones. That's yeah. a toughie. Uh, well, uh, I'm taking home a million dollars. Uh, but no, we do have an excellent episode for you guys this week. This is the Halloween episode. I would take the money and hire a hitman to kill Vin Diesel. There you go. But I Damn. don't. I don't think they'll stop. No, they'll Paul find Walker someone didn't else. Do right. it. Yeah, no, they'll find someone else. <laughs> a little weekend at Bernie's the rock, ass and the car. Rock will start. Yeah. The Rock will start. Hundred. Yeah, one hundred percent. It'll be the Rock. The Rock and Rock Kevin take- Hart. One, yeah, yes. I guarantee it. I saw the funniest fucking meme the other day. It was a it was a picture of Rock in four different movies dressed the exact same same way, same yeah. fucking way. Yeah. It's like, oh, can we fucking get creative around here? No. That's Scotty saying they don't look alike. You know, oh, I know. Is, you know. You racist. Mm-hmm. He's fucking Samoan. Yeah. See, I mean, he's not white. I didn't know that. I mean, you really didn't either. You it. really dug yeah. in there. Rocky Maivia, man. Hmm. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Come on. Let's go back. Wrestling. It's good stuff. Cool. Anyways, uh, before we get... How come you don't have your hood on since this is the Halloween episode? I don't don't wear a hood, JP. Well, not on a daily basis. On Halloween, he says he's a ghost. Uh, (laughs) Boo! uh, Boo! (laughs) <laughs> That's bad. I don't know why he's got a rope in Usually, his hand. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and there's weird. two syllables he says before Usually they carry that chains. we're not going to discuss. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> anyways, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these podcast episodes. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and uh, inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many people as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. And if you need some extra skin, I got lots of it. He does. I mean, good God. <laughs> It's not even insulation. It's way worse than that. Uh, quit while you're behind. Uh-huh. That's- Anyways, uh, we <laughs> before we get on to the other stuff of the show, let's get on to our week week recap where we get to tell everybody what happened to us over the last week. So let's go to Mr. JP since you're so fucking anticlimactic. Yeah, man. I smoked pot. And bold. And bold. Did you smoke pot out of the bowling ball? No, I told you I don't have a bowling ball bong, man. I'm waiting right. for Jeremy to make me one. Oh, that's true. Okay. You almost right. bowled a 300, though. I did almost bowl a 300. It was fucking 10 in a row, and the 11th one, I got up there and just didn't, I don't know, threw it like a fucking 
puss. And Not like, <laughs> yeah. Ended up shooting 288, but still a pretty good game. That's pretty solid, and yeah. And then the fucking lanes broke down, and I couldn't figure anything out. So I didn't even shoot 700 after shooting 288. Yikes. Not great, but not bad. I yeah. Mean, Did you, you beat know. Derek? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Everybody, everybody beat Derek. With your handicap, you bowled a 300 on the nose. Yeah, that's true. With my <laughs> yeah. handicap, I shot 300. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They have handicaps in bowling, too? Yeah, yeah. man. A lot of them. Yeah, Some of them have they, to use those the, ramps. Yeah, say, usually they bowl on Saturday mornings. <laughs> yeah, usually Saturday mornings and they use those ramps. Yeah. But, uh, uh, my cousin uses those. Derek coaches handicap bowling. I'm I don't sure. Know. I don't know he speaks their that. language. Yeah, right. I He's mean, got a couple of those do, Irish guys, too. <laughs> you and see and I'm little, fucking a couple of them. Yeah, I'm sure you, you are. You should see little Dougie. He's improved <laughs> tremendously. You know, he taught me how to Dougie. Yeah, yes. did he? Congrats. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> in, the, what, in the wheelchair? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. Pretty impressive. He can dug you in he's still better than me, but I'm right. sure he does. Yeah. Well, he's got a lot of practice. Uh, anything else that you did? I mean, uh, Queen, you got to have something. I mean, I went and played cards Saturday night. Uh, well, I went and played in a poker tournament on Friday night. It yeah. Was a bunch of bowlers. Uh, oh, nice. Get together once a month. And uh, that went really bad. Yeah. Like, I'm, I was the second guy out, but five minutes in, I bet. Yeah, I wasn't even five minutes in. Man, this fucking guy was. I hit trips on the fucking trip aces on the flop. I bet it pretty decent. Uh, two clubs on the flop, hard on the turn. I was like, fuck it, and I just went all in because I was like, this fucking idiot's not gonna fold. Club draw. Yeah, he hit his club. Mm-hmm. And uh, what a duh. whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> and then so they have rough. a second game, but I didn't stick around for that. I went to another buddy's and played cards over there and. <laughs> kick their ass so uh i'm glad i made this the switch just a degenerate JP. oh i'm a degenerate <laughs> smoker gambler fucking uh anal doucher oh god all that all that, all that stuff man oh, you know man. you gotta stay ready Scotty. <laughs> okay you gotta stay ready that's fine i had a dream about you that's uh, weird last night i had to wake up and jerk off <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Uh, is that the kind of stuff you want to know? No. Tell, tell me uh, you print pictures of Scotty out. <laughs> oh, I do. you jerk off to them. No, I do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I absolutely that is, do. That, it's come oh, yeah. full circle, literally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally. Oh, yeah. Uh, For sure. That's great. Speaking I of I put picture. them on my ceiling, and then I try to shoot them. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> With your cum, right? Oh, of course. Okay. That was Just the point. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of guys in pictures, did you see Derek's picture on Monday Fun Day? Tears. Tears. I was laughing so hard. That's great. I was like, I was, as soon as I saw it, I was like, there's no way that guy wasn't at January 6th. Like, Actually, there fucking... was a very good reason I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I figured you'd like that. I, yeah, figured, I liked it. I figured you'd get a kick out of it. I did. Uh, I figured Derek would hate it. So that's, that's more, even more better. Even better. Yeah, yeah. Derek's mean, indifferent. Win, win. <laughs> win, win. Totally indifferent. Uh, but anyways, uh, how about you then, Derek, if uh, JP was so anticlimactic? Yeah, man, I'm sorry about that. Such a letdown. I am a letdown, uh, man. I watched, so single. Uh, watched something on Netflix. Yeah? I uh, watched Old Dads. How is that? Fucking great. Okay. I absolutely loved it. Never heard of it. It's the movie with Bill, the, Burr. Bill Burr is in it. Oh, I definitely want to check it and out. And he is there. He's he's a dad at like 50 something. It's it's fucking great. So we watched that. Uh I I was wrong about something. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't say that a lot, but Goat Simulator is fantastic. <laughs> Dude, yes. Did you get it? Yes. Oh, I love you, man. <laughs> All right, I got to get it. I have played it for like 13 hours already. <laughs> oh, my God. I fucking... I was wrong. I was totally wrong. I fucking love it. I owe the creators of Goat Simulator uh, 3. Huge apology. <laughs> you know... I bet it probably is better than the second one. You know, <laughs> I never yeah. played it, but man, it is. You can be other animals, but they don't call them like you can be a giraffe, but that's not a giraffe. It's a tall goat. <laughs> uh, <yes. laughs> you can be a rhinoceros. That's an angry goat. Uh, it's fucking. Do they, have a, do they have a squatty goat? Not yet. Uh, that's just we the should goat. make one. It's just the goat. Right. Uh, I remember there were times where I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, this is what they, puns, I mean, everything you can think of, it's, I, I love it. All right. My wife, wow. she's over it. I'm down with it. <laughs> yeah, she hates it. Yeah. yeah. But, but I love it. Good. I'm going to check it out. You How should. much was it? I paid nine ninety. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm in. I got it on Prime Day, or, right on. and it was 9 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Uh, speaking of my wife, she informed me that uh, she had a 
a horrible dream. Uh, she dreamed that I cheated on her and told her I wanted a divorce. <laughs> and I'm like, Has she I, seen you? And I'm like, I thought you said it was a horrible dream. Yeah. <laughs> like we both win in this situation. Like you get away from me and I'm getting some action. Like, but uh, no. And then she, uh, she even had a name. She said there was a lady. It was a girl named Amanda. I know like one Amanda and that's not going to happen. <laughs> so way uh, out of your league or, uh, Way out of my league. Okay. Uh, Way out of my yeah. league. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it had me it had me die and laugh. That's funny. So I took it too far. Uh, uh, she well, said like some shit do. trying to be funny, and I was just like, that's it. I'm going to Amanda's. And oh, then I shit. just kept doing that all day. And so, again. The next time you guys do fuck. You should just be like, oh, oh Amanda. Oh, God, man. Man. I will yeah. pay you. I will give you $100. <laughs> Uh, well, that, how much is flour? Yeah, <laughs> right. Gonna You're going to have to buy a lot of flour. I always wanted to do that at a Dude. flower shop. We're like, what do you want on the card? I'd be like, sorry, I called you the wrong yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I called you the wrong <laughs> yeah. name in bed. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I also went to uh, Wichita's Funniest Person. Yep. Uh, I did not compete. I want to see if there were any past winners that were going to compete. Uh, Jeremy Rush competed. Oh, yeah. Which I was surprised because I don't think I've seen him compete in that for a long time. It's been a minute, probably. Yeah. But I was like, $1,000 changes things, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Goes, so. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I wonder if anybody's going to go up that's won and nobody's went up. And I was like, all right. So. But this is just the first semifinal, right? Yeah. And it looks so. scary, dude, because it looked like there wasn't, there was, gonna, there was like maybe eight, 20 people in there. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, Looney Bin used to be packed. Yeah. And then no shit, it's like I fucking blinked and it was full. full. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, okay, cool. There were like fourteen comics, which is still a little a light lot. for what it is. Usually anymore, there's like eighteen, yeah, twenty. But, that's but still a lot. Yeah, but when you got through. when you got some of those guys that are coming back now, that probably wouldn't have done it if it was what yeah. it was. So right. uh, four got through. Uh, my favorite to win is probably my. I would guess would probably be Jeremy or Bam, but we'll see. Um, Steve, I was surprised didn't get through. Steve, Jeremy, Peters. Jeremy, Jeremy Rush, Jeremy Rush. Yeah. yeah, Steve Peters, I was surprised didn't get through at his own bar. That was weird. Oh, wow, <laughs> home field advantage, right. bullshit. No yeah. kidding. But I think he was just well, trying I guess, out new well, stuff. Well, I mean, I guess that's what he gets for fucking doing the show a couple weeks ago and kicking me off. You know yeah, I mean? that's what happened. Guess he won't fuck with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he could win too. I mean, there's yeah. there's a couple too. There's a couple of these guys too that are. And what a prestigious title if they do win. I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a big, especially deal. whenever you want to let it go and somebody else just huge. keeps fucking mentioning it every week. So <laughs> such a huge title that when I had my chance to actually win it, I just went 15 minutes over my time because everybody that came to see me was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to give them a show. I don't care if I win this fucking thing. At, but at that point, there wasn't $1,000 involved. Right. Yeah. It was it was a fucking bracelet that yeah, fucking I never got mine. Mark got yeah. uh, at, for like 25 bucks and engraved your name on it or whatever. Yeah. But uh, it was trash. Yeah, but, that's uh, all right. I, uh, the, the last thing, too, that had me, uh, had me laughing uh, – my wife made me go to the store. I don't do well with this. Uh, I don't like going to the store. I fucking hate the it. The lesbian like bar or Dylan's? <laughs> Dylan's. Oh. Uh, so I don't like going to the store. We went. Uh, we went to Dylan's, and first we went to Walmart because I was taking a shit on TikTok and not like live. <laughs> I was like, hold on, I missed that. What? Yeah, I was taking a shit flipping through TikTok and they have they somebody had posted in Walmart uh, Snoop on a stoop. <laughs> and I was like, shut the fuck up. And I was like, I send it to my wife while I'm on the shitter and she's You went in the to find room. it? Fuck yeah, I did. Did you find it? They didn't, but I ordered it online. Oh, nice. So, wow. so right on. I have, right on. I have Snoop, Snoop on, a on a stoop and I'm I like, hey, that. while we're here, I'm fat. I heard the Christmas tree cakes are out. <laughs> so I got a cart full of those. So we got a couple boxes of them shits. And as we're walking, and I, we did a show on like foods they don't make anymore. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're like walking towards like the back of the store, and I just see in the middle like waffle crisp. I'm like, oh, fuck, what? yoink. So I snagged a big-ass box Ooh, of waffle those crisp. Are good. Dude, I love that shit. Yeah, man. And then we wow. went to uh, Dylan's, and <clears throat> we're doing our shopping at Dylan's, and we're getting ready to leave. And they have this bin, and it was four for a dollar, and it was full size like Kit Kats, Paydays, Reese's, 
And I was like, holy shit, why don't we just do that for trick-or-treaters? Yeah. Just so this on. is the first year. I'm super pumped. We spent 15 bucks. I bought 60 fucking Kit Kats, a combination of Kit Kats and the Reese's Pumpkins. Yeah. And we're giving out full-size candy bars for the first time this and year. And when, when did you buy these? Yeah, uh, Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. And you, there were 60 of them? Yeah. I guarantee there's less than 20 left. <laughs> no, we bought 20 for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. There it is. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought, I, we didn't dude. just buy 60. We're yeah. not stupid. Yeah. No, I bought some for... We were on our way out, and I was like, we should just do that for the trick-or-treaters. She's like, uh, I'll just load the car up, just go back in. I'm like, okay, sweet. <laughs> okay, sweet. So Good. So you got out of, of having to pack the car up, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, geez. Is that it? That's it. It was a very productive week for me this good, week. And good then for I, go, you, man. I go to Chicago. Did here. you mention any new uh, TV shows? I watched Old Dads. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. What, yeah, that's what it was. No TV shows, just oh, Old Dads. Okay, that's fair. Uh, and you said you're going to Chicago when? Uh, here in a couple days. Here in a couple days. So Derek will not be on the show next week. <laughs> JP right. get to rock Ooh, out. We are all celebrating. With our cocks out. No. Yes. I'm yes. finally going to do it next week, folks. <laughs> no. I'm you pulling should. my cock out. You should. Don't be ashamed. No, no. I'm not yeah. ashamed. Not. I'm not worried about knocking all this shit off the desk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Scotty hangs on. He'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. I hope. We'll see. Uh, but no, I... Uh, Scotty looks taller. That's because JP's sitting underneath him. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, but no, next Dude, week... I came the same spot on the photo. Yeah, uh, but next week uh, <laughs> we will have Mr. Jeremy Joseph return, so that'll be a lot of fun with me permanently. And JP. Permanently replace me, Jeremy. Please. It, oh dear God, if that would happen, oh the oh, fans would love it. We Jesus. can never get that lucky. No the fans way. Would, I mean, no love. way. No way. Uh, but no, uh, he did. He did say, hopefully, uh, because of his work schedule changing, he may be able to be on a lot more often. So I'll cross our fingers and hope that happens. Because we all love it when it's me, JP, and Jeremy. Mm -hmm. All of uh, us. Yeah. <laughs> all of us. Single love it. one of us. Everybody one here of is elated with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so over, over my weekend, I played a total of 45 holes of golf. Uh, I had to play nine because we ran out of daylight one, one day, uh, which I mean, you would think I would, I would really, really enjoy it and say it was a shitload of fun, but I played like absolute shit and, uh, it was not so much. I am still That's a weird. golf course, like, uh, snob. Uh, I played on one of the worst golf courses I've ever played in my life. Uh, but I had we had to play there because Sunday is my day. Me and JP had this conversation. Oh, Sunday yeah. is the day where I don't want to do anything. I maybe want to go up to Buffalo Wild Wings and get wings and have a beer or two. And then you I want to go home. You would be a Buffalo Wild Wings guy. I, yeah, I do. That place is trash. Oh, fuck. Caribbean jerk Such and trash, garlic parmesan. Dude. The worst wings oh, I love ever. It. But but that is my day. But they got me out of they got me out of bed. Tea time was at seven ten a.m. and it's an hour away. Do the math. I had to be there. Where was that at? Cheney? Uh, Wellington or Wellington? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah I can't imagine that course isn't it was too great. It was not great. No. It was not great. Uh, but you know it still was it still was nice. I at least got to uh, you know golf. So that's that's that. But my favorite thing that I did over the weekend is I played a prank on my wife. Oh, yeah? I did. Uh, I decided that it would be funny if on the back of her car on her back bumper, I wrote uh, honk and wave, and right underneath that I said, she doesn't know this is here, sign the husband. And she drove around, drove to work and home without knowing that it was back there. <laughs> and she said a couple of people did honk and wave, which I figured in Kansas, everybody's really friendly and they appreciate that kind of yeah, thing. It's for sure. You know, just fun humor, but you're a funny guy, Scott. I, I just, you know, I try to make my relationship fun oh, because, yeah. because it's obvious. Because it's obviously not. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. She's got to put up with Derek when he comes over yeah, here. She true. loves you, JP. Yeah, I, mean, I don't blame her. Loves you. I don't blame her. Loves you and Jeremy and all the other guys. Well, I get we could just leave it at me. She's faking it, Derek. Okay. She's just faking it. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, no, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I did uh, clean it off two days later, so she had to do it for a whole other day. Uh, but yeah, you know what? If I can give you some advice, if you want to, especially if you married like an eight and you're a four or a three, uh, do fun stuff. Make her laugh. That's always good. Uh, and then uh, the other thing was 
Um, I did want to say, as far as the Monday Fun Day this week, you guys killed it. There was a whole bunch. I got my hats off to people on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and it Instagram. On, it's on still. What your hat? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna stay there too. <laughs> and he's lying again, lying folks. bastard. But the his thing hat is, is still on. Let the record show. <laughs> <laughs> I write the episode on Tuesdays. So I share it on Monday, so that way it gives everybody the equal opportunity to make their comments and suggestions. You're nothing if not equal opportunity. That's man. right. I want equal I opportunity mm-hmm. for everybody. Except black people. Uh, <laughs> that's so wrong. Mm. Uh, but I uh, I write the show on Tuesdays, so um, yeah, that, keep that in mind. Uh, but the other thing was there was a, a question that I couldn't make as a question question, but it's a legitimate question that a, a guy from Twitter, uh, President Beetlejuice, wanted to ask Derek. He wants to know if you are Irish. <laughs> Why? I don't know. No. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. You're not like Canadian Irish? No. I'm ca- Dutch. Is Dutch? My, yeah. Dutch really? would be. Yeah. That's way worse than Irish. <laughs> Whatever. That's Amsterdam. You'd love to go to Amsterdam. Oh, I would love that. I'm, yeah, I'd I'm, love. I'm yeah. Irish. I'm Irish. You are? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. You I've look never like I'm 5'7", like you piece of shit. He doesn't. He looks like he knows where the end of the rainbow's at. Yeah. Now that I know Scotty's Irish, I've never been more proud not to be Irish. <laughs> not to be Irish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm like now I'm fucking Iraqi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, I am uh, still on. We're on season three of Cheers <laughs> because it's, wow. it's 22 episodes per season. Yeah, uh, That's but it's a lot of Cheers. Still, you should just watch that instead still, of play golf. Still fucking great. It's such a great show. Uh, but that is my week. That is our week, week recap. Uh, now we get to move on to the current events for this week, sports and non-sports. Uh, but the best thing out of everything that happened over this last weekend is that the Houston Astros are no longer in the Major League Baseball playoff hunt. No Astros, baby. Boy, I watched a video of Mattress Mac fucking getting an earful. I'm and sure. And he was fucking cussing back. Like, fuck you, you motherfucker. Just, it was great. I'm sure it was, but I don't care. Uh, Astros will not be in the World Series. They got eliminated by the Texas Rangers, which I think that's cool because they haven't won, I don't believe. They, I have, they have not. Never won, so I'm really excited. And then as we're recording right now, we are watching uh, Game 7 Arizona against the Phillies. Uh, out of those two, who would you prefer? Uh, the, I, I want the Phillies to beat uh, the Rangers in the World Series. Okay. Me too. Me too. You want the Phillies too? Yeah. I just like that group. I, I honestly don't have uh, – I'm happy no matter how it, how it ends up at this point. I just love Philadelphia because it's always sunny there. It's, uh, yeah. I see what you did there. I see too. I like them because they're sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. So stupid. <laughs> they're so delicious. Stupid. They are. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> I think whoever wins the World Series out of who's left, I will be happy no matter what. But I'll watch it. I'll watch the World Series. I'm excited for it. If, if Arizona ends up going, then I'll root for the Rangers. Okay. That's fair. So. Just because they never won one? Yeah. Okay. Then, Primarily. And, yeah. That's cool. No, I get it. And they were, like, shitty the last two years. Yeah. Buck Showalter would be the first team to, or one of the first managers since, like, Tory, I think, to win four World Series. That's cool as hell. Yeah, that'd be cool. Good too. for him. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we had some college football. Bo- is it Bochi? I think it's Bochi. Okay. I, this who, I don't know where I got Buck Schultz. Okay, okay, whatever. Uh, moving on to college football, we had uh, we had something happen uh, that I, I thought was pretty damn interesting. Apparently, the uh, Southern Cal's quarterback, Caleb Williams, he's projected to be the number one overall draft pick for the 2024 draft. Mm. Um, he demands uh, that he w- he should have some NFL team ownership of whichever team drafts him in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> to which point, th- that happened before this weekend's games. Then, uh, USC killed. goes out and plays Utah, a team that he has yet to beat in his college career, and they lose again on a last second field goal. And so now the thing that's even worse than that is that now he's even possibly contemplating sitting out for the remainder of the season so he cannot get injured to affect his draft position. What do you think about that? That kind of sounds like a selfish prick of a thing to do, in my opinion. Sounds like the Cowboys will draft him. <laughs> I don't think I don't think so. I, they got to be bad. Seems like a Cowboys quarterback. 
I don't know. It's been going on. I mean, guys are are sitting out the Senior Bowl. They're sitting out. They're sitting out already. <coughs> uh, Chase Young, I think, did that. I, I mean, just, I just don't. This this whole ownership in the team. That the ownership drafted, thing's stupid. That's dumb. Yeah. yeah. Um, earn it. I well, first sure. off, and and yeah. I just I, this is this is the a level of narcissism that I just don't I just can't get behind. It's this, toxic. It, exactly. It's toxic to the team. And it becomes something in the locker room that you don't want to have to fucking put up with yeah. and every single NFL uh coach and owner kind of make your draft position go down whenever that kind of shit happens. That may be what he wants though cuz you why would you want to go to the worst team in the league? That's true. I mean, if you can slide down to 14 or 15, then you're already in a situation where maybe you're a quarterback away from Goodell saying that you should win a Super Bowl. Yeah, but I think it's also the thing of, of who is drafted number one overall. Everybody remembers who that is. There. He always fit it in there, man. Uh, That's yeah. Great. The last quarterback that was drafted number one overall to win the Super Bowl was Eli Manning. I know, and he won it twice. Right, and he mm-hmm. technically was – traded immediately so the last one to dread technically that was that was with that team that won <coughs> was peyton manning wow because impressive eli was drafted by the chargers yeah uh but anyways moving on to the nfl there's a little bit here i want to talk about uh Bijan uh robinson for the atlanta falcons uh ends up playing very very little in the game uh he apparently was sick and this is, uh, I guess, a pet peeve of mine. I think if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, have a sick player and you're not gonna play them, I think that you should have to 100 percent release that he is not gonna play before the before the start of the game. They were supposed to, I think, and that's why they're in trouble. Ooh, are they? I think so. Fucking yes. good. And now it's not a push. Uh, Vegas got the uh, under on his yards. So <laughs> oh my god! There's that. That's <laughs> some shit. Derek's just bringing it on this week. Oh, the- I saw clips of the Philly Miami game. Uh huh. And Philly had no penalties called, not one. Yeah. Uh, and then you see the replay. Miami was called for ten. Okay. Uh, and holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what met- the fuck is going on? I they guess that holding ref- calls. <laughs> Oh, hands r- unnecessary roughness, hands in the face. Uh, I guess they the re- head ref of that uh, of that crew was banned from refing in the ACC. Uh, wow. Amid like point, uh, like maybe point shaving or point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, ugh. I, I will, uh. I will one hundred percent admit that I think they have a serious officials issue in mm-hmm. the NFL. Mm-hmm. I will admit that now. Do I think it's scripted? No. It is not scripted. Derek? You're starting to come around, though. No, I'm not. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, Maybe not all the God. way, but... And you know who's... Slowly okay. but surely. You're like, you're like the little engine that could. You're yeah. going to get to the top of the hill eventually. <laughs> But the thing is, is that of all of the people that I've talked about it, you know who the you know who the the fans or the fan base that will not even they won't admit it. Not a single one of these fans, Chiefs fans, one hundred percent, they will not admit that they uh. are just being given games, and it's it pisses me off. I had one chick at a bar like seriously uncomfortable and and was just like kind of under her breath cussing me out and i'm just like what and my team's getting the shit kicked out of them this week my lions looked awful i know i saw the game it's no big deal but i mean it's like how do you not even admit that this this is it looks fishy as fuck i'll say like, come on i'll show you the tiktok when we go to a All break right, that's and you can see what i'm talking about with the calls that were missed oh my god yeah it's it, it, I, i've seen them they're bad well and there were a couple that they called on miami one in particular where they called roughing the quarterback yeah. Roughing the passer. Holy shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no way, no how. And it even the, the, even the announcers right? are like, yeah. yeah. Even the announcers like, oh, my God. Like, how <laughs> did they call that? You it, know what I mean? Like like I said, yeah. they have an official's problem. Yeah. Did you see the Iowa-Minnesota clip? I think it was Iowa and Minnesota. No. No. Uh, Iowa was down, ran the kickback for a touchdown, like a punt or whatever. Yeah. Ran it back for a touchdown. And he was pointing to his defenders. Uh-huh. And then the ref threw the flag, said that it was an illegal fair catch call. 
What? And took the fucking touchdown away from him, and Iowa lost the game. Oh, oh dear wow. God. See, that's that's yeah. where it really pisses me off. When officials ha- uh, can change the outcome of a game, it really chaps my ass. That's well, why it's gotten un- – that's part of why it's so unwatchable to me anymore. It, it, I don't want to say it's unwatchable, but still – um at least at least uh you and your bears looked good for a game this last week did you watch that one uh half of it tyson badgett he was uh a backup Bagent. quarter bagent yes i i i always think of bilbo baggins whenever i say his name his, so his dad was a professional arm arm wrestler, wrestler yeah. yeah and he oh god he looked like a little kid yeah. he just looked like a, such a young kid i like that his dad was a professional arm wrestler and then it's like on the 40 yard line in the very last play of the half which was poorly pissed man it pissed poor managed by uh clock management they brought in nathan peterman to throw the hail mary <laughs> wow they did they're like ah, i know your dad was an arm wrestler but you're a pussy <laughs> so we're gonna bring in the shittiest quarterback in the last decade to throw this last ball. But I do have a legitimate question. Let's just hypothetically say there's no script. What do you think about uh, possibly allowing Fields to to recover from his injury that he's had? Because he hasn't looked good. Uh, he's looked good very few times so far this season. Would you be okay with him trying to get rid of Fields and, and put more of a, of a standard pocket passing quarterback for – it seems, Chicago? Like, it seems like that's what they want. Yeah. They, they don't want that's He's what, a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Ugh. That's what you said. Yeah. You said the Bears don't like. They, well, they, they yeah, I think that's why they I, I think that's part of why they drafted He Fields. looked good. Eh. I think he looked fine. No, and it was against the, the fucking Raiders, man. Come on. That's true. That's what they do. They look good against bad deep. Mitch Trubisky threw fucking six touchdowns against a shitty Bucks team. Yeah. I mean, Put him against a decent defense, and he's going to suck ass. Yeah, the answer to the question is no. You do not do that. You keep Fields out on the they're fucking gonna have, field. They're going to draft. They're going to draft somebody. Again. Oh God! I mean, they'll, he's they'll got so first. much talent. Maybe okay. Caleb Williams. Yeah, he'd fit right in, and especially if he wants a share of the Bears. Yeah. It can't be that expensive. No, it's got to be. That's yeah. probably the it's probably cheapest, cheapest way to one. go. For Two sure. billion dollars is uh, what they're valued at. Yeah. Two billion. Mm-hmm. All right. With well, ha- all right. Fine. Half a share. Half yeah. a share. That should be okay. Anyways, I'd, I'd rather anybody than Virginia McCaskey or George McCaskey. Hey, man, team. whatever. Yeah, just give, give it to the... Uh, give him the whole thing. Right? I don't give a fuck. Give it to the city. Yeah. Give the whole fucking thing. I did see something I thought was pretty funny. Arizona Cardinals kicker Matt Prater appeared visibly upset after the holder set up the kick with the football laces pointed out. Out or pointed in. Yeah, you don't want to do that, man. Yeah, laces Ray, out, baby. Did Ray Finkel not Ray, teach you? Yeah, anything? no shit, you <laughs> moron. He needs to rewatch laces that movie. Out. Oh shit! Uh, that I mean, he looked so super pissed. I've seen I've seen a whole bunch of kickers kick field goals. No matter it doesn't matter how the laces are. I'm not. I don't. Not a professional. I don't know. But they just walked it off. Had had no kind of like real, you know reaction to it this dude was fucking pissed well, yeah, he was mad dude it doesn't happen very often i know but it's they still spin it so the laces are out i know because he, when you kick and the if you get a piece of a lace yeah it could really fucking he spun it but yeah it just didn't go all the way around well yeah it yeah. is what it is yeah i know uh then i guess unfortunately we have to move on to the kansas city chiefs game we don't have to on the fucking taylor swift network this is getting fucking old. I'm becoming a Kelly Clarkson fan. Did you see what she said? She's like, I, she's like, I just want to be able to turn on a football game and not like see this. You know, I think she's hot. You keep showing her. I mean, <laughs> I mean. she's attractive, but uh, who was? I think it was Al Michaels. He was. He was even frustrated. He was just like, I'm not. I'm not doing Hollywood now. Like, I, I'm not announcing that shit. Because he didn't want to do it, he wouldn't be a part of it either. And I think they have gone way overboard, and we've been talking about it and talking about it, and it's getting, I'm just getting sick of it. But the thing that pissed me off the most was that it wasn't necessarily her; it was her doing a handshake with Brittany Mahomes, with Jackson Mahomes right behind him, trying to do a fucking TikTok. Gross! God damn it! Just that whole fucking I, family. Well, I wish Jackson Mahomes would just sit on too. my face. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> And then you shoot jizz all over Scotty's picture. Yep, <laughs> oh, that's, yep, that's how it's done. <laughs> well, but it was it was International Tight Ends Day or something like that. So the question mm-hmm. is, who's the best? Who's the best tight end of all time? Not you, JP. Quit. No, absolutely not. Who is it? Definitely me. It is not you. Absolutely is. No, 
I disagree 100%. You know, I don't want to say it, man. That's fine. Who do you think? Derek? Tony, Tony Gonzalez. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. God, that's that good. sucks. I hate saying that. Why? Uh, I throw up my mouth a little bit. Because he's a I chief? Because I hate the fucking Chiefs. I know. But, and really, honestly, yeah. if you really want to fucking... I'm not 100% sure that Travis Kelsey isn't going to take over for him. So, I mean, that's the point. top two fucking tight ends of all time could for sure end up being those two. How about you, Derek? What do you think? Algie Crumpler. Okay. Algie <laughs> Crumpler. <laughs> I'd say Antonio Gates. That's a good one, too. Yeah. I, I, I'm kind of with JP, though, as much as I cannot stand the Kansas City Chiefs. <sighs> Dude, that dude was... Antonio, and, and Travis yeah. Kelsey is pretty fucking good too, I, it's, I, and that's what I was gonna say. Antonio is great, but Gronk. I think I think Travis Kelsey no. is the best. I, I, I don't think, even think he's I, even no. in the conversation. I think he's definitely in the top five. I don't think he's in the conversation oh, yeah. of the best. Oh yeah, he's definitely up there. He's not. He's not. He's top three to me. And yeah. Shannon Sharp and Shannon Sharp would be in my top five, but not in the top three. And just because he's like a really big humanitarian off the field, I would have said Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, absolutely. Gone forever. Bless his soul. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in power. <laughs> God, so bad. Uh, but anyways, I also think uh, I think Travis Kelsey. Uh, but the last thing I have in here just absolutely made me laugh. I figured you guys would like this. In Akron, in Akron Ohio, employees restrain a thief uh, trying to break into a car in a junkyard by suspending the vehicle he was in 15 to 20 feet off the ground using a <laughs> forklift and held him there until the police showed up. Nice. How Dude. do you not jump out of this fucking car? Right. Uh, how fast? That's what I was going to say. How fast is this <laughs> forklift? Because if you didn't see that coming... <laughs> What, Where the, the what the fuck are you still doing in the car, you dumb motherfucker? I he just beep, beep, exactly. Beep, 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 beep. Like, what yeah. the fuck's he doing? It's in like there? Darren getting in, or Derek getting out of his fucking yeah, like recliner so at home. Yeah, with the gun noise. Yeah, yeah that was. I'm what gonna go the? get my pistol. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, well, I'm already done shot and uh, raped. But shit. seriously, I mean, what? Not in that order? Yeah. But, but I saw the video of the police officers talking about it, and they're like, "Yeah, we came to the scene, and a forklift had a vehicle." 20 feet up with a guy just in there trying to stay still because it's being held up by a oh, fucking forklift. Oh, right, that too. You don't want to move around a lot. You don't want to move around yeah, a lot. that's true. I mean, Man, that's, that's genius. I want to fucking meet the forklift guy. 100%. Like, like he's like, oh, yeah, break into my car, will you, you <laughs> yeah. son of a bitch. No, Hold on. Shit. I'm going to go get my forklift. Absolutely. <laughs> I just think that's fucking great. So my hat's off to whatever junkyard yeah, it was cool. in Akron, Ohio. Right on. Uh, good job. That's like being held at gunpoint. By a guy who makes bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to make some bullets real quick, and then don't you dare rob me. <laughs> That's know. right. Ah, shit. But anyways, that is the current events for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. But now we get to move on to the fun part of the episode. This is my favorite parts. Uh, we get to get on to overrated or underrated. Uh, we had quite a few uh, fan submissions on this, uh, this yeah. week, guys. We really did. And my hat's off to you, even though my hat's on. Right, Derek? No, your hat. I let the court see that the defendant's hat is still on. Yep. Okay, that's right. Uh, Objection. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay. Overruled. No, overrated. Sustained. Uh, got it. <laughs> okay, first one. You can't handle the truth. It's my favorite fucking movie of all I time. I sustained my boxers earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. You have holes in your underwear, I'm guaranteeing. Only in the back. I'm sure. <laughs> it's got so fucked up, JP. All right. Uh, Show me on the doll where he touched you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be JP pinning the tail on the donkey. Oh, man. I'm Show me on here. Scotty's face where you came. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, overrated or underrated, the metric system. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage him to uh, just keep blurting shit I, out. I, I know, but he runs out of ammunition yeah, so yeah, quickly. It happens. it happens. Overrated or underrated, the metric system. Way underrated. We really? should all be using the metric system. Oh, God. We only don't use it because everybody else in the world does, and we're American, and we think we're better than everybody. So we but fucking, we are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Not why we don't use the metric system. Why don't we use the metric system? Because everybody else in the fucking world uses it. Nope. We Except have a, for Zimbabwe. We have a foot fetish. 
Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I see what I did there. Come on, I give me a rim shot. Did. I see what you did yeah, there. Holy yeah. moly! <laughs> My God, it's overrated, man. I I I I can't. I, I can't know. I I know. I basically I've been raised my entire life. I know what a foot is. Here's something kind of funny. Whenever you talk yeah, about I bet distance, he does. Uh, hey, huh. whenever you try to think in your head of something of of how many uh, like meters it is, if somebody just tells me, oh, it's uh, three football fields long, I can imagine that I've been on a football field. But if somebody is like 560 meters, I have to do the conversion in my head that that's five and a half football fields. And so I don't like it. Okay. I, I want to do. God forbid you'd have to fucking think. yards and gallons and shit. So I'm going to say the metric system is overrated. Okay. Derek. I know what a foot is, too. That's what I'm going to lose if I gain about 35 yeah. more pounds. Yeah, from the diabetes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm going to go uh, underrated. Out of baby. Because, Fuck uh, you, Scotty. That's right. Uh, because, because fuck you, Scotty. No that, other reason. And uh, drug dealers use it. Yeah, right. That's so. And, That's and, probably why I like it. And they're cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're cool. I never met a shitty drug dealer. You know, whenever there was one time, there was back when I was selling cars that this uh, this kid had come in and he was a real fucking asshole. Uh, he was like eighteen and wanted to drive all these like test drive like these Lexuses and all these expensive cars. And, oh yeah, and they'd be like, "My dad doesn't play games. My dad, uh, no, like you let me take this home for the night, and we're like not letting you fucking take it home, dude." And then uh, at one point, I guess they left his keys at a different dealership, so they had to drive across town. It was just this kid was just a fucking dickhead, and so then uh, I was looking at like Facebook, and a news article had popped up about a drug deal that went bad. And uh, they showed the, a picture of the kid that had gotten shot in the fucking head and killed. And it, it was, was that kid. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. So I messaged the guy that had to test drive him around. I was like, is this that dude you had to drive all over the place? And he's like, yeah. I was like, good. <laughs> 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 Which brings me back to drug dealers are cool. Drug <laughs> dealers are cool. God damn it. Wow. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so right. underrated. Okay, fine. Because that kid got shot in the head, and he deserved it. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Manny Petties. I love Manny's, but not Pedos. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, Manny Petties. Petties. Oh, I'm fucking way underrated. I wish more dudes would take care of themselves a little better. You know what I mean? No. Well... Mm. Mm. No. Well, then you're part of the problem. I guess so. I guess I'm going to remain part of because, the problem because you don't do it because you think it's gay. No, I no, don't you like. Just don't like. I don't like people. T- First of all, I hate people touching my feet. Okay. Absolutely hate people. That that is gross to me. It ah, it just get, it gives me the fucking shivers. No. When he got his legs behind his head, you should tickle his feet. No. Next, next time I'm going to. No. Stop I'm going to pop a toe in my mouth. Stop. I I know I I I mean I think the Manny's I could probably uh, uh, tolerate, but I if you touch my feet, I'm kicking you in the fucking face. So no, uh, that's okay. overrated, Derek. Uh, you know who has a great joke about this? Who? Alex Ortiz. Okay. Uh, he has a joke about how his wife t- for his 40th birthday took him to get a Manny Petty, and he thought it sounded like a Mexican NASCAR driver. <laughs> 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 and then he tagged it with, and coming around the third turn in the uninsured F-150, Manny <laughs> Petty. Dude, that's funny. You don't want to trade paint with Manny. That's a fucking great joke. That's, that is that's great. Good, that yeah. is not my He's joke. He's a great dude, but man. That is Alex Ortiz's He's joke. He's a funny dude. And it's a fucking fantastic yeah. joke. That's yeah, good. That's awesome. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to say overrated, because if you're spending like $70 to paint your feet, I'll do it for 10 Son of a bitch. That was yeah. actually a Facebook suggestion, and it and it cut out who that was, so I do apologize, and I uh, will, uh, I will thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one, overrated or underrated. This comes in from Facebook. This is from Christian. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Coel or Coel. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated. Okay. He wants to know, overrated. I think it's Christian. <laughs> Jesus. Christian Cooley. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Christian. Yeah. Christian. Christian Coley. Yeah. yeah. It's a biblical name. Yeah. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, haunted houses. I oh, mean, go ahead. Go ahead. Overrated. Okay. I don't fucking like people jumping out at me. 
I'll swing. <laughs> yeah. Like no bull. I don't care if it, I had one of my old bosses try to scare me and she was about that. She, I about Bruce Lee one inch punched her. <laughs> like that was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh-uh. don't fucking do it. I won't go. Yeah. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I know it's actors and shit. That doesn't bother me. It's the jumping out at me. I yeah. Fuck you. Uh huh. Yeah. It's overrated. I hate this fucking holiday, but yeah, I do not like going to haunted houses. I don't like, I don't like jump scares either. That's kind of my thing because it's, it's a fight or flight response to me and I do not like to run away. So yeah, (laughs) that's not my thing. So this is overrated. Okay. I say underrated. I'm sure you do. Because I go with my, uh, with my, my, the oldest of my two sisters. Yeah. And she fucking freaks out. She, dude, we'll be in a pack of people and she don't care who she grabs. It could be like a 12 year old kid. As soon as she sees something, she grabs somebody and throws them at that thing while she goes the other way. Like, <laughs> dude, it's amazing. I love, love, love going to haunted houses with my sister. It is, dude, she, I, she grabbed this poor little boy one time. He had to have been nine. <laughs> this clown this clown comes from out out from behind a hay bale and has one of those horns uh-huh. starts, she just fucking immediately grabs this kid and fucking throws him <laughs> at this clown while she fucking runs the other way dude it's amazing your sister your sister your sister's got to be one of those people who starts taking off her shoes whenever they're getting really close to a bear and the person looks at why are you taking your shoes off I run faster whenever I whenever I have no shoes on. You can't run outrun a bear. I don't I have to outrun. outrun I can outrun yeah. you. Yes, dude, it's amazing. I love it. By one of those horns, do you mean like a bugle? No, like, the clown is like <laughs> no, like the old time, like the old time fucking bicycle. Yeah, horns. I know what you're talking you know, like about. Fuck fucking, yeah. I just think a clown with a bugle is funny. With clowns with bugles is great. Yeah. Uh, next one. Uh, this comes in from Facebook as well. This is from Alex Gust. Uh, he wants to know. A clown with a didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know. <laughs> you do a mean didgeridoo, sir. <laughs> oh, you took me there. I'm not going to lie. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, overrated or underrated? Alex Gust wants to know, overrated or underrated, coordinated couples Halloween costumes. How many times are you going to say overrated or underrated in that sentence? I have to do it every time. Okay. Yeah. So what are we asking the question about? Coordinated Halloween? couple Halloween costumes. Yeah. What about them, though? Overrated, overrated or, or underrated? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, it's a thing. Derek but forgets. Is it, but which is it? it is we, that what we're trying to figure out? Yeah, 100%. Which one we think. Uh-huh. But, there's no real right answer. It's just whatever I think. Yeah, 100%. Between, okay. what are the choices again? I'm going to fucking stab you with a pen. I'm going to start <laughs> writing Or what's the other you. choice? Stab me with a pen or? Uh, JP. JP, okay. Stab um, me with a JP. <laughs> <laughs> take the pen, bro. <laughs> gonna, ta- it's going to be pen. a lot less stressful. I'm taking the pen. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, way underrated. Really? Yeah, because I like it. I like how, dude. I'm I'm a fan. I'm gay. We love Halloween. It's like our Christmas. <laughs> so you know that's why I love in costumes like couples costumes and shit. Man, they're cool. Some of them are fun. Some of them are awesome. Some, some of them are some fun. Some of them suck. But yeah, I say in general underrated. I wish more people would get I, together and do costumes. This one's really tough for me. Yeah, because I fucking hate Halloween. Yeah, I, I really hate yeah. Halloween. You hate everything because you're a douche. But like I black people no, Halloween. Shut the fuck up. Black I, people. Ah uh, no. Asian people. Stop. <laughs> I Italian I le- Americans. <laughs> I legit Samoans. God damn it. I literally Haitians. Fijians. Fijians. Nobody likes Fijians. Okay, sorry, man. We're we're real dicks. <laughs> At least we're not racist. Touche. Neither am I. You fucking pricks. Jesus Christ. I, I know, Scotty. You tell us he was white all the time. Yeah, right. Yep, we get it. Motherfucker. Uh, I I'm gonna just say that they're overrated. I guess. And fuck it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, I, I mean, We've, he's given we, up. We gave we, up. We, we broke him. We broke him. It finally happened. Four years, we finally broke him. No, I'm just annoyed. It's like, it's like, God, do you ever shut the fuck up? It's ridiculous. No. Anyways, no. I know he doesn't. 
I know he doesn't. I also don't. But you is, humor him. It's your it's your fault too. I try pushing him. I, yeah, I'm not you do. Lie. It was it was definitely you something do. I was and it's doing. Like, and it's and it's like <laughs> I, I love it. I know, and it's like God damn it. I want it. I want to try to be supportive uh, and make him think he's funny, but it just it's like, <laughs> ah, it's, it's fucking not. Wow, uh, this went way off the rails. It and really I did. Love he's it. had it. It's, it's like pissed. it's like. Well, I mean, come on. It's fucking annoying. It's absolutely ridiculously annoying. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, God, we should do it. this more. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to dress up as my wife in a coordinated Halloween costume, and I fucking hated that too. And so, but on Christmas, if I can, uh, on Christmas though, I'm way down. If it's Christmas costumes, I'm in. But if it's Halloween, fuck Christmas shit. costumes. Yeah. If I have to dress up like Clark Griswold, I'm fucking in. Okay. But I'm out on Halloween. Okay. All right. Go ahead and go, you fat son of a bitch. <laughs> I think he's talking to you, Derek. Pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't Pass till I get some respect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. You have so much else to say. That's so I figured that you can't shut your mouth for five minutes you so really I am, got him this time. I, I want yeah. you to he go ahead. He is fucking off the rails. He is, go ahead. He is frazzled. Yeah. 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 No, go ahead. I'm serious. No, I'm fine. I'll I just, really I'll want you, to. I'll let you answer mine, too. I will start drawing all over you. Just go. Should I go? Moving on. All right. Now we get to move on to the next one. This comes in from Facebook. This is Bradley Hovland. Overrated or Hovland. Un- oh, Hovland? Bradley. Bradley Hovland. I'm sorry. Bradley Hovland. Hovland. Got it. Uh, he wants to know. You know, for the Halloween costumes. Yeah. I'm gonna, Was it underrated or overrated, do you think? I, I'm Couples go, costumes. Yeah, I think I'll go with uh, overrated. Okay. Because my wife won't do the other part of the costume. She, she will not be the back half of the centaur. Right, I was going to say yeah, the back half of the she centaur. She will not do it. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. All right, Scotty, we're done with that one. Next. I'm going to fucking kill both of you. <laughs> In your sleep, uh, just do it now. Actually, actually, JP, I'll kill you in your sleep, it, and it may, that way it's like painless, and it, and you can't feel anything yeah. because you keep on making. But no, I will torture him. I will fucking put him in those fucking. I, I mean, Dude, I'm sitting next to you. You're I will already starve, torturing. Me. I will yeah, starve him to death. I will not let him eat. Starve him. Yeah. That's gonna take a while. I'm telling you. I'm telling. You, that's why it's gonna take the longest. So his fat fucking face. You know, just not feeding him anything. It'll be oh, great. Man, you really got him. I got did. him worked up this now. This is fantastic. I agree. Anyways, Bradley wants to know. <laughs> Bradley. Bradley. Bradley wants to know. Overrated. Yeah. Overrated or underrated televised bowling. Oh, way underrated, bro. Are you kidding me? Bowling's the shit. Uh, yeah. Right? Underrated. Overrated, Derek. Yeah, of course you say overrated, dude. It's fucking stupid. Golf. Absolutely. You, you, overrated. You waste ESPN's time. Put that shit on the Ocho. Quit fucking taking up. I, I would much rather watch anything. I mean, other than other than the WNBA. The That's, show? Huh? This show? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. yeah, 100%. Hmm. Uh, but uh, the WNBA is the only thing I would not watch other than bowling. Like, I would much rather watch bowling than WNBA. Wow. So. All right. Yeah. Cool. Derek, what? I would love to see Derek, like, like fucking go sliding down a bowling lane <laughs> into some fucking Stuck pins. In the ball, Absolutely. Fucking. I'd like to see Derek try to fit out of the thing that the ball comes out of. Like, I want to see him come out of that. To be fair, an infant can't really fit in there either. I know. It'd be I've great. I've tried it. I'm I've sure. tried it. I yeah. Be Threw great. Threw baby down there once. Yeah. <laughs> Slim you down, Get you fat ball. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, but no, Derek, what do you think? About what? Moving on. Uh, we get to go on to the next segment uh, because Derek is a dick. Uh, you know, I'm going to go underrated on the televised bowling. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the televised bowling. Yeah, for yeah, sure underrated. Uh, so especially I agree. if they do the trick shots. Have you yeah, seen they're fun. That? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Man, that was a good segment. I hope we can do more like that. <laughs> okay, great. Because now we get to move on to your favorite segment. It is my favorite. Uh, that's where we draw the line again. It's time to cut your bullshit. This is my favorite segment. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Uh, but anyways, yes, this is that's where I draw the line. Uh, Whoa. All of, I think we found where Scotty drew the line. <laughs> all of them are from uh, you guys. All of you guys uh, send these in. You guys did a great job this week. Um, yeah. So we're going to, speaking of bowling. Yeah, weird. Weird. 
Uh, the first one comes in from Instagram. This is John Bowling. He Bowling. Bowling. Mm -hmm. Joan. Joan. Joan Bowling. <laughs> Joan Bowling. He wants to know how many car accidents before you are banned from driving here or in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> it matters. It does. Yeah. United yeah. States. Oh, two, two. Yeah. Two that are your fault. Yeah. That's the big, question. that are your fault. Who's two fault that are your fault. Okay. Because you're a fucking moron and you shouldn't be on the road. Oh, uh, I mean, two, wow. two, two. I'll give you. Well, two after the age of 18, Two. After the age of 18, I'll say two. I'll say even before that, two. Uh, well, now you can't drive, I don't think, until you're 18, can you? I don't know. What's that rule? Uh, you can't fuck them unless. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's 18. Is it 18? It's 18. Okay. Uh, I'll go three. Three, three is, is what I'll give you. Okay. Especially over the age of like th 40. Only if you give it to me twice. Four, hey. yeah, over the age of 40, you get two. That's okay. that. That's what I think it should be. You get one age restrictions. When, yeah, that's that's what I think it should be. You're ageist. Uh, how about you, uh, JP? How about you? What'd you say? You said two total. A long time ago, oh. I was the first one to say it. Oh, okay. I think Derek is who you're asking. No, I was asking no. you again. Uh, oh. Next one, <laughs> you can, you can uh, answer one. for me. I'll answer for Derek. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Go ahead. You're my puppet. Oh. Two. Two. <laughs> yeah, but if you're drunk, then they don't count. Then they don't count at all. Yes, that's yeah. smart. That's just good yeah, fucking thinking. That's a mulligan because yeah. you weren't in the right frame. Yeah, right. right. Perfect. Uh, next one. That's where I draw the line. Uh, this comes in from Facebook. This is from Jedediah Lindblom. Lindblom. What do you think? What do you think that is? JP? Pete. <laughs> Pete Lindelblom. <laughs> Pete Lindelblom. <laughs> Yep, uh, looks right. Jedediah. They Lindblom. call him Jedediah for short. Lindblom, I think is actually how you pronounce it. We'll go with that. Uh, he wants to know, at what point do you lose your shit when, uh, I'm sorry, at one point, uh, what point do you lose your shit towards your significant other telling you how to drive? Like, what's the break? I'm point? a shitty driver, so normally, even whether it's my significant other or a friend or whoever I have yeah. in the passenger seat, they right. have to tell me like, Oh, you got to get off here. You got to go. I, so it didn't bother me. I don't, here's the, like, I don't think I would lose my shit. It, I roll my eyes when my wife like has that gasp whenever something happens. Oh, that's she, the worst. If you she, just tell me or you grab, yeah, 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 you yeah, grab, yeah. You grab the cool. ocean. My handles. mom does that shit. She's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm like, what the fuck are you? What is wrong? And yeah, I'm like, yeah, I get that. I'm a hundred yards away. Calm the yeah. fuck down. Um, but no, the, I won't ever cut her off or tell her to shut up because she's actually saved our lives a couple there of times. You go. So I gotta be honest. Uh, my wife's uh, very good at that. So very well. anyways, all right. Uh, next one. Uh, <laughs> ah, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I'm not, this, this is my favorite episode. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do this every week. I hate Fucking this a. so much. Uh, Derek, what is yours? When my wife like goes, Derek, like yeah, you're right. gonna make me what? That's gonna make me cry. like that's yeah. gonna make me fucking crash. You're gonna yeah. make me slam on the brakes when you right. fucking stop. Yeah. Now her, I lose my shit because she takes forever to fucking turn. So Ooh. she will have there'll be a car a fucking quarter mile away, and she's gonna wait on that car. So my and, ex used to do this thing where oh. he would only turn into like going the same way he wouldn't turn against traffic mm -hmm. so like if we needed to go left he would go right and go around the block to yeah. get back he would not turn against traffic it's both for her yeah she she i'm like was she i asked her mom I was like was she ever in like a bad accident and she's like no, no. and i'm like well that's God why damn it <laughs> yeah i'm like you can go you can still go <laughs> Still go like, go. Yeah, like grabbing her knee and shoving it down onto yeah. the fucking gas. Yeah, or I'll be like, it's green. Like I, I am bad. I will passenger <laughs> drive with her like a motherfucker. I'm like, be drive like an asshole like me. Like, ugh. I am passive aggressive. I, I will, I will have her. Oh, you know what? Pull over to Quick Trip here real quick, and, and then, then just jump in. I'll just fucking, yeah, I'll switch. Will you go in and get me a Dr Pepper when she comes back <laughs> out? Here in the driver's yeah. seat. No, go yeah. ahead and have a. Or seat. you're just gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that I'm too. Walking. That works too. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. That's where I draw the line. This comes in from Facebook. This is Derek Hill. He spell he spells his name right too. 
Actually, I think that's a Derek. Derek, like the Dolphins guy. Derek Hill. Derek Hill. Derek Hill. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, got it. He's fast too. He's just very like fast. All Dariks. Probably. Uh, he wants to know what's the max you should spend on a sex toy. Uh, nothing. Right. They God gave you two hands. Well, not only that, but do you know how many things you can put up your ass? And they're not necessarily for that. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, that's I, I wouldn't waste my money. I guess anything's a sex toy if you're if brave you're enough. If you're brave enough, yeah. you're right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He's serious. Smell this pen. No. I don't want to do it. Stop it. <laughs> no. Uh, there. I, I've seen that on the innocent things. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. But Derek pushed something. I don't know. I didn't push anything. Oh, maybe you did. I don't know. I, I I think if you can, like, they're supposed to be coming out with some, like, really sophisticated sex dolls that, like, will do chores and shit in the future. That's the one I want. That, yeah, there you yeah. go. If they could cook me dinner and clean my house, then I'd spend money on it. That seal's never been broken. Yeah, right? Yeah. But God damn, can it vacuum. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, I am currently paying uh, 10 years of my life, and uh, she's still expensive. So that's how much I'm paying. It, it's mm. unlimited. Amount. I see what you did there. You're talking yeah. about your wife. Sure am. She's your sex toy. She is. That's gross. I know. But Poor it's thing. That you talk about God. doing things in your butt, and I'm, I talk about regular sex, yeah, and that's and gross. gross. <laughs> yeah, please stop. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this is a children's show. Over the line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I object. <laughs> Sustained. Uh, okay. Uh, next one. This comes in from uh, Tommy Lesher. To me. To me. Lesher. Lesher. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll go with that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, from Facebook. He wants to know, at what point would you allow a person to use the mobility scooters at Walmart? I don't Ooh. understand what that is even... Oh no no no! At I what point? At what point are you finally like, okay, never? I'm throwing the stop sticks okay, out. Okay, they can. That person can use a scooter, but you heavily fat fucking people that use obesity as your excuse for a mobility scooter at Walmart. I don't go to the store. Fuck store. you. Yeah, you do. We talked about it already on your week week recap. Yeah, sure I'm not did. allowed to go back. <laughs> He's got a whole mobility scooter full of Reese's. You told us. He's no, got a custom only, one. Only you're allowed to have home mobility. Derek brings his own <laughs> scooter. scooter. Fuck yeah, he does. Sure does. God damn right, he does. Absolutely. I like it. Absolutely. He's where working. do you draw the line? He's like who should be able to use it? Yeah, who should be able to use it? I think I think uh, definitely elderly well, need yeah, to be able I to mean, use it. Anybody that needs it, even if, I mean, if you're just that fat that you can't walk around the store, five then, people, by God, five people go to Walmart at the same time well, there's only one mobility scooter where where do you draw the line of like okay that's ridiculous you can't get one i think the the people who are severely obese they they know they you need to walk around walmart that's what that's for mm-hmm. if there's one scooter and five people need it i'm taking the scooter <laughs> <laughs> Fuck driving, you. Off, yeah, driving off driving like this. Off, <laughs> at record forklift speed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny uh, but yeah, I think I think if 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 it's the elderly, absolutely, I think they need to. I think it'd be funny if all four were if the other four were elderly and they just somehow like Tetris themselves onto that scooter and drove each other all over the Walmart. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one, uh, or sorry, last one. This comes in from Facebook. This is Adrian Marquez. No, what is it? I'm not racist. It's Adrian Marquez. <laughs> Adrian Marquez. <laughs> okay. Uh, Adrian, I'm not touching that one with a 10-foot pole. Adrian Marquis uh, <laughs> wants to know, at what point do you leave the stadium when your team is getting blown out? You never leave. Never. You could witness the greatest comeback True. ever. <clears throat> yeah, you never know. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Don't leave. Why would you leave? What the, uh, You're supporting your team, man. The ALCS, Yankees-Red yeah, Sox, that game? That yeah, game, that's a good yeah. one. That, dude, so many people left. Yeah, they were down like five yeah, or six with, so with Rivera on the left. fucking mound. Yeah, uh, I would, uh, I would say in a basketball game, if I was in uh, Fog Allen with KU uh, playing Wichita State, and they were beating them by twenty with ten minutes left, I'm out. Oh, I'm heckling even harder. <laughs> like when it's dead silent when they're shooting their three th- free throws, I'll just be like. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. I did fine. That. I did that at Wichita State you sure when did. I was like 18 or 19. Yeah. Now I'll root for Wichita State, but back then I was just wanted to be an asshole. Yeah, weird. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem like you. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. 
Uh, that is, that's where I draw the line. Now I get to move on to questions and Spanish questions. Pregnant questions. Pregnant questions. My, <laughs> yeah. My second favorite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got two from Taylor Moroski. She, uh, she has a fucking list that she sends me every week and I have to, I can't even respond because I'm just like some of these we've done. Some of them we haven't, but oh, well, I appreciate it. Taylor. Uh, first one from her is which fictional character would have been great on Jerry Springer? Snow White. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, like, she's abusing seven disabled dwarves. Yes. Like, like I mean, you've got uh, Happy, who's definitely got Down syndrome. Oh, yeah, 100%. Definitely. 100%. Uh, you'd think it'd be dopey, but he's, like, just totally, like, nonverbal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you've got a, a narcoleptic. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> sleepy. Yeah. Sleepy. sleepy. Bashful, severe anxiety uh-huh. disorder. 100%, yeah. Doc's got to be high-functioning autistic. Yep. 100%. Uh, who else are we missing? We got a, a really, a guy with severe anger issues. Yeah, huh. Uh, and who might be depressed. Probably. Uh, and then what's the seventh one? The sleepy, happy, dopey. Corny. Doc. Horny. Doc. No, we that's the highly Doc. functioning autistic. Oh, oh, my Horny. Bad. Bashful. No. Horny it's Glenn. Dwarf. Glenn. 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 It was Glenn. <laughs> Fucking Glenn. Yeah, that, God that damn guy. it. And he's I mean, a schizo. Yeah, yeah, there's just uh, there's a lot of things wrong with Glenn. There he is, but yeah, whatever one I'm missing, he's fucking retarded too. There's something. <laughs> wrong. Uh, actually, I'm kind of going a similar route. I'm going with everybody in Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Piggy's depressed or Piglet? Piglet's depressed. Eeyore's depressed. Oh uh, no, uh, Piglet's I think on like uh, I don't know, but all of them have something. Fucking Tigger's on speed. Like, What'd I you just say? Watch the hard R, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, easy, buddy. <laughs> Tiga, Tiga's on speed. <laughs> Tiga. Tiga's on Tyga. speed. He yeah. sings Rack City. Right, right. <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 10, 20 <laughs> on the titties, <laughs> bitch. No, but Tigger is He's on... He's a motherfucking star. Some shit. <laughs> um, star. But I think that'd be great. I think uh, that, in, uh, that in Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes, I think, would be great. All right. Now, he's growing tired of this shit. Not to be confused with Tony the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Who sings Rex City? Uh, how frost, about frost, 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 frost on them flakes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> JP, how about uh, you? I don't know, man. You don't know? I don't got an answer for this one. Oh, man, you're letting me down. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, next question uh, Taylor has is strange things Scotty, Derek, and JP say in their sleep. Hmm. Deeper, Daddy, please. <laughs> that's JP. That's what he says in Nope, that's Scotty. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> ah, fooled you. No. No, that might be me. <laughs> it is. Okay. I know I'm right. Next I have, to you. yeah. <laughs> yeah I have it. said that. I'm sure. I, I, I don't remember weird. saying it, but I can't imagine I have not said it. So yeah. Um, I I mean I I really don't know. I really have absolutely no idea. I figured you would probably say something gay over there, JP, and that's fine. Uh, Derek. Uh, I have. I mean, I hope he thinks of something like. <laughs> I'll take two double cheeseburger meals, <laughs> wow. a large order of onion rings, uh, two joke. apple pies. Who'd have thought that was going to come out of somebody's mouth? Yeah. Gosh. Absolutely. <laughs> so original, guys. No, I think it's more of like I. I. I think it's more like. I wish my comedy was good so people would actually like me. Dude, the, you're talking about the funniest person in Wichita, <laughs> Kansas. <laughs> because all the good people had already won the award. Mm. But anyways, how about you, Derek? Valid. <laughs> not wrong. Save yeah. me, Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Save me, Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> we had uh, somebody at work today. I'm going to say his name. I've, I've never met him. His name's uh, Richard Chambers. And uh, they're like, hey, Richard Chambers, this guy's here to see Richard Chambers. And I was like, isn't that one of the guys from the Wu-Tang Clan? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, you know, you had Old Dirty Bastard, RZA, Ghostface Killer, Raekwon, yeah, Method Man, Jizza, Inspector Deck, Capadonna, You God, Master Killer, and Richard Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty proud of that one. That's good. Yeah. Anyways, uh, next one. I got another one from Derek Hill, who's uh, Derek Derek Hill. Yeah. Heil. Uh, hi- <laughs> no, Scotty says that's Scotty's line. No. That is Scotty's line. No. Uh, Derek Hill from Facebook wants to know 
What's a costume that would get you in trouble into an a- or sorry, I apologize. What's a costume that would get you called into the HR office at a Halloween party at work? Sexy burn victim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Anything blackface. Oh uh, yeah. Anything. Yeah, that's a good one. Anything. That'll Unless, do it. I mean, I guess like military. If you're military, that's okay. It's true. Scotty won't do blackface because he doesn't want to hate himself anymore. No, right. so he wouldn't up. know how to even react. So fucked yeah. up. Ugh. Anything where I have my dick out. Anything? I do a lot of them. Like I think uh, I, sexy nurse with my dick out. Um, if you did the police officer you did with the, my dick out. The drag queen, I think that would be. They would little, send me to HR. 100%. They wouldn't even know it was me. I look good. <laughs> Burn victim with your dick out. Burn victim with my dick out. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. That's yeah. so awful. Ugh. All right. Thank you, Derek, for your. Yes, Derek. Uh, next Thank one you. comes in from Instagram. This is from Michael Bowerman. Mikhail Boerman. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wants to know. You got it, JP. You do. Thank you. Rejected names for a new Plan B pill. <laughs> Fuck a pill. Just grab a coat hanger. <laughs> oh God. I mean, way cheaper. Uh, ah, they're plastic and you can reuse now. Them. Tougher. Yeah, they're tougher. You can't bend yeah. them like you used to. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fuck up again? Well, then you should take whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, the breakup was the other one I had. Uh, how about you, Derek? Lifesavers. Yeah. Lifesavers. I like it. I do. I like I it. I like it. It's a double pun. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is. That's fantastic. Oh, oh man. Because like you're getting rid of the baby, but you're saving your own life. Right. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. You're a martyr. Yeah. Okay. Yikes. And uh, I don't know what that means. That's okay. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, that's because you're dumb. Last but certainly not least, there's nothing a woman hates more than blank herself. Wow. Yeah, I mean, they can't even like each other. <laughs> I, there's no way they can even like themselves. That's true. You know what I mean? There's no way. Ah, damn, that's so true. It's yeah, it's there's sad. Nothing more that a woman hates than herself. It's and she sad. takes that out on every fucking body. One fucking women. Uh, I mean, except we, for you, Taylor. <laughs> Thank you for all the suggestions. You're great. And pink. Yeah. Um, and pink. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I would just. Mm. But it's but it's one hundred percent. I mean, like guys, you ever notice that guys would legitimately get into a fist fight at work and then oh. be fined fifteen twenty yeah, minutes yeah. later? Not Absolutely women. Not they women. will hold that shit for Ever. years, bro. Forever. Years. Yeah. You would think she moved away, mm-hmm. and then she would fucking show up and slash your tires and fucking. Like, oh yeah. And you'd think she was in another state. Nope. Nope. Yeah, um, fucking women. I put peace and quiet. I like that. Peace and That's quiet good. is yeah. something that they obviously hate because she never shuts the fuck up and always wants to start a fight. Okay. That's mine. Derek? Being called a cunt. Yeah, they don't like that. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good call. There's, but there's a trick here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the way to avoid that is to not be a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. If, if try you, that. If you try that. Try that. Yeah. See how that you're going to be shocked at the results. <laughs> try that on. See how it fits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's pretty tough. It comes as a ca- like a characteristic for like 80% of them. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I guarantee mm-hmm. if there's a, more than one woman that listens to this show and they hear that word, they just went, like, <laughs> oh, just, yeah. Ugh. You think Taylor likes it? I don't know her. Okay, I'm but, just saying. But I, I'm guessing that she has a sense of humor if she listens exactly. to this show. Absolutely. Um, She's still probably a cunt. <laughs> but, I mean, a funny, a funny cunt. That made me. That was like a hard R. That was, oh. But a funny one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm sure she's not. Taylor Moroski. Yeah, Moroski. Yeah, I'm uh, sure she's not. Oh, no. She's, she's probably not. the one woman that's not. Probably. <laughs> I'm other. sure of it. I'm sure of it. Her and Pink. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's okay. it. That's fair Maybe enough. Maybe Sheer. <laughs> okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that sheer. is... Sheer. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Thank you guys so much for all of your suggestions for this week's segment. We really do appreciate it. And now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, I uh, think Derek won. Didn't you win? Oh, yeah. I, I hope so. With by the air compressor. <laughs> yeah. I think he won by a lot. Actually, I got last, I think. Actually, no, I think I won. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I definitely did, and I was last. I, I stopped looking I, after the I, first I, day. I know. I, I, think, I think, though, I think everybody just initially thought, like, why the fuck would you would you draft an air compressor? Then they voted, and then they then they listened to the episode and then didn't change their vote because I think Derek definitely won with the air compressor. But there are I voted for him. Oh no, he did win. <laughs> he okay. did. He did win for, with the air compressor. Yeah, I, I know. Got I voted for him. Fuck. Um. All right. So so Derek gets the win with the fucking air compressor. And uh, I got second. JP got uh, third. And that's okay, buddy. That's totally... You can't win them all. That's totally fine. Um, But anyways, uh, this week's draft is going to be a different kind of battle royale. Um, I got this idea. We got so many people that send us suggestions about things with WWE, overrated or overrated, or underrated or overrated WWE. And we've we've had so many things about WWE on this show. And so, of course, it's underrated, but it's a different era of the Uh, shit that we liked. (laughs) I think we should all oil up and wrestle. (laughs) No, thank you. (laughs) I I sincerely do not want to do that. Um, But no, this uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite celebrity cameos or appearances who have uh, or celebrities who have appeared in WWE or WCW. Uh, So, yeah. Um, And uh, JP, you get this week's first pick of the draft. Who do you have as your favorite celebrity appearances mm. in WWE? I'm going to have to go with Donald Trump. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. I'm going to have to go with the man. He shaved his head, yeah. man. Yep, he sure fucking did. Uh, I, he I sure remember. did. I remember and he looked happy as fuck doing it, dude. <laughs> he did. I, dude, he, it was like the highlight of his fucking <laughs> year that year. I guarantee it. I never thought you would take oh, that Oh, man. First. Yep, yep. Wow. Got to go with it, man. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, I guess in that case, uh, I, I'm going to go with my favorite probably of all time, and that is going to be the worm, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. That's a good one, man. Yeah, That's a N- good one. NWO, yeah. And, yeah. I was, and I liked the NWO, so I'm going to go Dennis Rodman is my number one pick. Derek, you get two in a row. Uh, Mr. T. Yeah. That's, oh, I, 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 I did, good one. I, yeah. yeah. Good one. Yep, that's a great one. I yeah. knew that that would be like your favorite, though. And then uh, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, that's good another one. good one. God damn it. I figured that these guys wouldn't go until later. Yeah, that's kind of why we started, you know, I want to get it out because sometimes I try uh, to save shit and you take it. That pisses sucks. me off. Well, in that case, I'm just going to stick with basketball players, and I'm going to go with Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal, baby. Shaq Diesel. That's right. So, uh, yeah, and then uh, you get two over there, JP. LT. Yeah, that's a great one. Well, that was a really that fuck, fucking dude. flying elbow that was, was legit. legit, dude. I agree. Yeah. Yep. So okay. And, uh, Cindy Lauper. Okay, you can have that one. Yeah, I, I, I knew. I almost saved it for last. Well, I, I think that was I a didn't little think bit. You guys would pick it. It was a little bit out of you know out of my time. So okay, good. I, you know, good for you, man. Just, Thanks for calling me old, you dick. Older than shit. Great. Um, I am going to go ahead though and take uh, something that surprised the shit out of me. I I ask people at, at like work or personal friends like, is this a good draft? And they always surprise me with one that comes up, and then I have to look it up and watch it. I'm gonna go with Drew fucking Carey, <laughs> dude. It was actually really good. I I gotta admit. Right. So I'm gonna go Drew Carey. I didn't watch it live or anything like that, but I looked it up and whoa, I was actually impressed. All right. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Uh, Mike Tyson. Yep. Good one. That's a great one. Fuck. That's DX, too. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. And I'll go way old school. I'll stick with boxing. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that was the other one. Son of a bitch. Good pick. Okay. Well, in that case, I am reaching for shit. Um, I can't. I can't. Ah. Uh, I can't pick them both, so I, I'm gonna have to. You know what? I'll I'll do this. I'm gonna go Stevo. Okay. Stevo uh, was alongside Johnny Knoxville. Same thing. So I'll take that. 
Uh, JP, these are your last two. Floyd Mayweather and Snoop Dogg. Mayweather and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> All right. That's fine. The Mayweather one was fucked up, dude. That was <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, I, I I like your Snoop pick. That's Yeah, that's I fucking good. gotta pick Snoop. Okay. I uh I am not a huge like Saturday Night Live fan anymore. I just don't think it's near as good as it was what it used to be. But there there's only one real fucking like uh clip that I like to watch and I would tune in if I paid attention. But I love Michael Che. <laughs> Yeah. I love Colin Jones. Yeah. yeah. So I got to pick one of those guys because they were they were in it they together. In it, yeah. So I will pick uh, I'll pick Mikey Che. All right. I'll pick Che. I could I could get behind that. I want to put them together though because I don't I don't know I don't know how good they would be without each other. I d- I mean that's just my opinion. But anyway, uh, Derek, this is your last and final pick. What do you got? Ronda Rousey. Yeah, good that's. One. Yeah. That's a good one. Did you, is, is she still wrestling though? I don't know. Uh, I don't either. I don't know either. But I, I guess there there are some some definite um, like honorable mentions though. I know Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman was one. Ah shit! I'd have I'd have miss fucking Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Damn it. Um, I there was uh, uh, Arquette. What was his name? David, David, David Arquette? Arquette. I didn't realize he was. I mean, I knew he was a huge like wrestling fan because they made uh ready to rumble ready to rumble back yeah. in the day mm-hmm. yeah carl malone i totally forgot about the mailman yeah that is a good one um but yeah i think uh, i think you stole it with with uh, taylor swift mike tyson nope i don't think she ever appeared not yet not, not yet, yet. <laughs> rob gronkowski yeah and yeah man i'll pat tell you McAfee. what pat mcafee pat mcafee was on there too that's right oh god man. damn it that's, that's a, a great one. one son of a bitch that's a great one. That's a great pick. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines, Twitter at LOT Sidelines, and uh, vote for the list that has your favorite celebrities who made an appearance on WCW or uh, WWE at any point in time. And uh, whoever wins, I don't know, get something. There's also Bonesaw McGraw. No, Bonesaw that- McGraw. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck is Bonesaw McGraw? He was the guy in the Spider-Man movies. He wrestled as Randy Savage in uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by JP. He's magical. I am magically deli- I'm magically delicious. I wouldn't go that far. Well, you never tried. I don't care. I don't want to try. Okay. That's don't just, knock it till you try it. No, I, I think that's one I could pretty much knock. So I'm going to okay. go no. Um, but yes, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is, would you rather... <laughs> Every time somebody is pronouncing your name, they pronounce it incorrectly. Or anytime you What's try to the other t- one, <laughs> is there another one, or is that the only choice? This is this next one. <laughs> anytime, come on, get to get to the point. You try to talk. What happens? Somebody interrupts you. Who? <laughs> you two fuckers. No. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. Anytime you try to talk, I bet I know your answer. You get interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> is it Scotty? Is it Scotty? <laughs> Scotty Greenman? Scotty Greenman. Uh, yeah. We'll let you go first because I already know your answer. Well, uh, I uh, I have one of those weird last names, and I think it's pronounced wrong all the time, yeah, and so. I've had to deal with it, and I fucking hate it, but nothing pisses me off more than getting interrupted on a regular basis. So, yeah, I'm taking that one. Okay. Derek? I'm going to go with I would rather be interrupted. Really? Yes. Because uh, you I, have that last name, too. I have a last name that gets mispronounced. It has been all my life. It's been misspelled on anything that I've owned. <laughs> it has been just fucking completely butchered. Uh, Listeners and, of the show still spell your name wrong. Oh, dude. I, I've had people put me down as a reference on job applications. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would rather be interrupted because at that point, it's just a choose your own adventure. That's, yeah. I had a trainee that did that and she would just keep finishing and interrupting my sentences. So I just like, yep, that that's right. That you were correct. <laughs> and just let it, uh, well, this is going to be an interesting training style. Because Fair enough. You're going to pick how this goes. Okay. Yep. I, I, I understand. How about you, JP? I have definitely rather people mispronounce my name. I mean, I have this one guy JP, that two letters. Yeah, Jupa. I mean, you know, Jupa. yeah, yeah. This one guy kept pronouncing it faggot. I don't understand <laughs> it. I don't understand why, but it didn't bother me too much. That's weird too, because it's your dad. He named right. you. Yeah, I know. I mean, look, I didn't want to bring it up, but now that you brought it up, <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, dude. Yeah, that's so fucked up. Yeah. Oh God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, do we have any uh, shows? Well, I know we have. Uh, is is the uh, funniest person which show still going on? Still yeah. going on. Yep. Okay. Every, every Wednesday at Vorshay's. JP. Derek and I are going to do the funniest person third round. Third round <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> going together. That's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're I, both going up on the third round. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I I think I don't think I'm allowed. together. We're going to be like the new Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Guess which one I am. I don't. Hardy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. fair. Uh, but yeah, everyone. You're Laurel. <laughs> you get, that bet Laurel got so much ass. Uh, you know he did, dude. Yeah. Laurel was tearing that pussy up. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. Wednesday nights at Vorshay's Lounge here in Wichita. Funniest person in Wichita. Go check it out. Um, I know that there's uh, a lot of potential is what I've been at least told. Yeah. Um, I haven't been able to go. Uh, they there really is. They they wouldn't let me in the door. Uh, they said, "Get the fuck out of here." You, you were know. on the list of what? Uh, to not let in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, you must be this tall. I should it's be right on the list. Way. You're absolutely right. <laughs> you are. Oh, there you are. Now I see you. You should go to the loony bin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys had an excellent time listening to the show. Um, Derek, I uh, hope you have a good time on your vacation to Chicago. I'm pumped. Enjoy it. And uh, guys, uh, thank you guys so very much for sharing uh, this episode and these uh, these clips. We sincerely do appreciate it. Believe it or not, the show continues to grow, which is awesome. Uh, so keep doing what you're doing. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor if you like us and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you get ran over by a pack of mobility scooters. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, built Ford tough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>